This is InfoLive TV headline news, April 18th. I'm Margot Dudkevich. Iran is now sending rockets and other advanced weaponry to Hamas and Islamic Jihad in the Gaza Strip by sea, as well as via tunnels dug under the Philadelphia Corridor and connecting the Sinai Peninsula with Rafah. The weapons are thrown overboard in waterproof sealed tubes, which then float into the Gaza waters and are picked up by fishermen. Syrian technical teams are in Russia to take delivery of an advanced anti-aircraft missile system, the Pantsir S-1. This is part of a large Syrian-Russian deal paid for by Iran to supply new missile defense systems to the Syrian army. The system is a short-range mobile air defense system combining anti-aircraft guns and surface-to-air missiles that can simultaneously engage two separate targets. Israel has imposed a closure on the West Bank and Gaza that will remain in effect throughout the Passover holiday. In accordance with the decision made by Defense Minister Barak and the political echelon, entry into Israel from the West Bank will only be permitted on humanitarian grounds and after consideration is given to the current security assessments. Former U.S. President Jimmy Carter called the blockade of Gaza a crime and an atrocity on Thursday and said U.S. attempts to undermine Hamas have been counterproductive. Speaking at the American University in Cairo after talks with Hamas leaders, Carter said for every Israeli killed, between 30 to 40 Palestinians are killed because of the extreme military capability of Israel. None of Israel's 120 Knesset members will be attending a Passover meal outside Prime Minister Ehud Olmert's house, organized by the Friends of IDF Captives Ehud Goldwasser Eldad Regev and Gilad Shalit. Organizers invited all parliamentarians to attend the event, yet discovered that not even one Knesset member will join them. Israel will fortify its presence in space next week when Israel Airspace Industries launches the Amos-3 communication satellite from Kazakhstan. The satellite will join the Amos-1 and 2 in space, will provide high-quality broadcasting and communication services to Europe, the Middle East and the East Coast of the United States. Unemployment continues to drop, reaching the lowest level in 15 years. Figures released by the Central Bureau of Statistics notes that the unemployment rate for February was 6.5 percent and that 190,200 were unemployed for that month, the lowest rate since 1993. And from InfoLife TV, Israel's only television network that broadcasts in four languages from Jerusalem to the world, we would like to wish our viewers Happy Pesach and Chag Sameach.